Hello everybody, Dick Van Kieran, welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item breakdown video, we are going to be going over Hot Embrace the Pain. Ha ha ha. Now what makes this Assault Rifle Legendary would be the little red line here that says, It hurts! Ha 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 ha! Exclamation mark. It hurts! Exclamation mark. Now what does that cause this gun to do? As far as I can tell, it means when you reach a certain... Certain... Certain heat threshold on the gun, the rate of fire goes through the fucking roof, it's really fun, and it stops consuming ammo, and it lights you on fire. That's its special perk. But before that threshold, it still consumes ammo. But before we get into the gameplay and like talking about this thing a little bit more detailed, look at this fucking gun. It looks like someone took a tiny propane tank, strapped to the front of it, shot it a bunch of times. It's got like these chem things on it. It's got this huge mechanism for loading the ammo. I don't even know where it gets the ammo for the rate of fire it has because it wants to be like a minigun belt, but there's no giant drum here. And then it's got the control panel, which you flick switches and push buttons on when you equip the thing to turn it on. It's really coolly animated. Someone had a lot of fun with this gun. It's got this cool skin on it too for default. I actually like this gun. It looks really cool. As for the performance, and do I think this gun is a good one? Oh boy. I want it to be. I want it to be amazing. I want it to be better. But it takes too long to spool up to this point here where it's actually really fun. This rate of fire is really enjoyable. But there's the big problem. I think the gun breaks too soon. They need to increase the uh, time till it breaks. I think you spend too much time with it breaking and too much time spooling up and not enough time in the like giggly laughy this is an awesome phase with the insane DPS and high rate of fire. And it could be really, really good with that high rate of fire if you match it with say a shield mod that enhances your fire damage and say gives you multiple stacks of it. As you can see here, it does do fairly good damage, but again, that this super giggly happy spot is always just cut too short. And there's like this disappointment when you only get like 30 rounds off in that super high PR arm space. But there are the times where you get like 300 off and it's super nice. So it's a really mixed bag. If anyone has a build that they're loving with this thing, I just noticed the animated skull in the bottom right scope. That's really weird. That means this has to be a reference to something, but that's really, really cool. Anyways, where was I going? Um, if anyone has a build for this thing that's really, really awesome, I would love to know what it is so I can like kind of figure out and wrap my head around it because I really just don't think this gun is that great, even though I desperately, desperately want it to. Now, if you're actually interested in finding this gun, it dropped for me on Eden 6 at Jacob's Estate, and it was a random badass, so, which leads me to think it's an open world drop, but if you want to go exactly where I went and exactly where I got it from, I was actually doing the Tink Farm. I killed him like four times, but this dropped off one of the badasses that spawned like out of this shed right here. Um, so that's the exact location I picked it up, and it wasn't off the loot tank himself, it was off one of the badasses. Anyways guys, I'm repeating myself too much, and if you enjoyed this video, I have a huge playlist of a bunch of these, you might like those also, and if you really enjoy all of it, you should subscribe, like, comment, be civil when you comment to other people, and if you really like all that stuff, you might also like my other channel, Dickfit Gaming, where I do live streaming and let's play videos. I just split it from this channel a few days ago, so it's still growing, and I really do appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Dickfig out!